Hi everyone, and welcome back to Odooistic channel. So today, um, I'm talking about much awaiting topic, and that is about connection of Odoo 18 to Microsoft Outlook or uh, 365. I'm going to take you through a critical step for setting up your Odoo integration with Microsoft 365 or Outlook. Retrieving the client secret value from the Microsoft Azure portal this secret together with your client ID is essential for authenticating your app and ensuring a secure connection between Odoo 18 and Microsoft services. By the end of this tutorial, you will know exactly how to generate, secure, and manage this vital credential. Before we get started, let me give you a quick rundown on why this step is so important. The client secret acts as a password for your application. Without it, your integration won't be able to authenticate with Microsoft services in today's in in environment where data security is paramount. Making sure you handle these credentials correctly is a must. I will also be sharing best practices on expiration management and secure storage so you are well prepared to maintain uninterrupted service. So now let's dive in and walk through the process step by step. Guys, for our customization um, for Microsoft uh, Outlook connection with Odoo, um, we need to use web.base.url. So I'm just showing you how we can find web.base.url. So as you can see my screen here, if we go in settings and then in technical, you need to find system parameters here. So in system parameters, you just need to scroll down and here you will find web.base.url. So this is the thing which you need. So whatever in this field value, you just need to copy and then paste it wherever you want um, or wherever it's asking that you need to enter web.base.url, you just need to enter this one. Okay guys, the first thing we need to do so we just need to go on browser and we need to type this portal.azure.com once we do this, it will ask us which account we need to connect if we have multiple. So I would say that connect this one. So first you need to connect with that account. Guys, lots of people are finding it really very difficult to do this setting, but I will just tell you quite easy way, which you will be able to do it quite with ease. So we have already connected so you can see this dashboard this screen at the moment what you need to do you just need to connect this one manage microsoft entra id click view here and as you can see at the moment this is my username tenant id primary domain everything it has been picked from my um, outlook account so we don't have any application at the moment. We don't have any device at the moment. So what we need to do, the first thing, we just need to click on add, and then we need to click on app registration. Here, we just need to add any name under this name heading, the user facing display name for this application. This can be changed later. So I would say Odoo 18 or just Odoo, it's, it's fine. Then we can see all these options under supported account types. So we need to choose the third one, which is saying accounts in any organizational directory, any Microsoft Entra ID, tenant, multi-tenant, multi-tenant and personal Microsoft accounts, e.g. Skype, Xbox, that's it. And this is a bit tricky part here because we are using a web application, which is Odoo. We just need to con connect with web. And here we need to give web based URL. So in um, previously, I have already shown you how to find web based URL. 
which we need to give. So in my case, it is HTTP www oh, sorry localhost eight zero eight zero four zero I guess yes okay after that we need to type slash Microsoft underscore outlook and slash confirm HTTP and then web base URL up till here and then slash Microsoft underscore Outlook slash confirm. And then after that, we need to hit this button register. Once we do that, on right hand side, you can see create application successfully created application Odoo. So it has been done. Right. After that, on the same page, you can see view API permissions. So you need to click this and now we we need to add the permissions. So add a permission here. And after that, you need to click Microsoft Graph. And then you will see this dashboard on right hand side where you will find two options, delegated permissions and then application permissions. So here you need to click delegated permissions. And now in this search, you need to type SMTP. Once you will type, you will see under permission heading, you will see SMTP. Click here and then you need to check this option, SMTP.send send emails from mailboxes using SMTP auth. So click add permissions. You again need to add, add a permission again, this button, Microsoft Graph, delegated permissions, and then you need to choose IMAP. Once you will search for IMAP, you need to click this IMAP and then you need to check this option IMAP.access as user.all read and write access to mailboxes via IMAP. So add this permission as well. Okay, we have done two things. So first we have created an app. We have registered an app. After that, we have given app permissions. And now you can just go back, click this button backward, and you need to find this page again. So now in this page, you will find managed application in local directory. It's written here. So you need to click on this Odoo. Or this is the this will be the name of the app which we have just created. Click here. And then you will find this this um, big button here, assign users and groups, provide specific users and groups access to the application. So click assign users and groups. And then you need to click on this button, add user slash group. Now it's saying groups are not available for assignment due to your active directory plan level you can assign individual users to the application. So you need to click on this none selected. Once you will do that, you will find your user here. You need to click here and then press select. After that, you will find on left lower side assign. Click assign button here. And that's it. So now we have done three things. First, we have created app. Then we have allotted app permissions. Then third, we have um, we have added a user or groups. And now again, click on this back button. That's it. Again, come to this page and then you will find your application client ID here. 
object ID here, directory tenant ID here, supported account types. This is the name of your app, Odoo. Then client credentials, add a certificate or secret, redirect URI we have added, application ID URI and managed application in local directory. So here, the last step we need to do now, we need to click on this button, add a certificate or a secret. But before that, please copy this client ID, which I'm going to do now. So you can just copy on a, um, on a notepad. So in our case, I just do it and save it here. After that, click add a certificate or secret ID. So now, once you will press that button, you need to click on this button, new client secret. And here, you can just write anything for description. So I, I have just written some brief Odoo 18 connectivity with Microsoft Outlook. And here, the farthest you can just choose or it's up to you. So I'm just choosing 7, 30 days, 24 months, which is enough. And after that, click add. Now, as you can see, it's saying update application credentials and it has created all the credentials. So description or to Odoo 18 connectivity with Microsoft Outlook with I have just written, then expires on this date. This is the value and this is a secret ID. So you need to copy this. You need to copy and paste it on uh, out on any notepad, which I have done. So guys, that's it. On this um, Microsoft Outlook side, all the configurations you need to do, that's it. So now we are just going to shift our focus to Odoo. So we have already connected uh, the Odoo 18. We have already configured uh, Microsoft Outlook as well. And now it's time to focus on Odoo. So guys, first we need, you need to click on apps and here search for Outlook. You will see Microsoft Outlook here. I just need to click activate. Right. Once it has been installed, um, you just need to navigate to settings and then click on general settings and under the discuss section, which is here, discuss section, uh, ensure that the checkbox for custom email server is checked, which We have re refreshed it, general settings. Here. So we just need to click use custom email servers. Then it this populates a new option for Outlook credentials here. So please make sure that no other Gmail server or uh, other server it has been checked. So first, as you know, we have already copied the client ID. So you just need to paste your ID here, client ID here, and then the secret, you just need to paste it here. Once you will do that, just need to click save. And now it's time to configure outgoing email server. On the general setting page, under the custom email server setting, click the ongoing email servers link to configure the Microsoft account. So you go in general settings and here click on outgoing email servers. I have already got one. Let's just delete this and create a new one. So here, whatever name you would like, you can just give it. Um, I would say Odoo or uh, 
Right. And then you need to check here, Outlook Auth Authentication. <clears throat> All other options will remain the same. Um, here you can give the email address, which you have already connected with. And the same username you will give here on the place username here. So once you will do that, you just need to connect your Outlook account. Once you do that, system will ask you which account you want to connect. Obviously, the one we have already configured. After that, if all will go OK, you will get this message. So once you see this message, just believe everything is on. Then allow Odoo to access the Microsoft account by clicking on Yes. Accept it. And after this, the page will navigate back to the newly configured outgoing mail server in Odoo. So an error occurred when fetching the access token. Invalid client secret provided. Ensure the secret being sent in the request is the client. OK, guys, let me just check again. Let me just pause this video and I will just come back because I need to check it first. Okay guys, it has been it has been rectified and I know the problem is. So guys, let me just take you to the Microsoft Azure. So guys, remember when you create a secret secret ID, when, uh, let me just go there. So I have actually copied this secret ID from here. No, this is not right you need to copy from here the value not the secret id so that was the that was the problem so you need to copy the value and then paste it here in secret uh, this field after that save it and then connect your outlook and once you will connect it properly if all looks perfect you will see this green button outlook token valid that's it and after that you can click test connection so you can see connection test successful so this is it guys this is it it's it uh, we have successfully configured odoo 18 with microsoft outlook and that wraps up our tutorial on retrieving the client secret value from the Microsoft Azure portal for your Odoo integration. That wraps up the video how to connect Odoo 18 with Microsoft Outlook. Securing your credentials is a key step to ensure your app seamless and secure operation. If you ran into any issues or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth tutorials and tech tips. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and your family. Bye-bye.